Buenas tardes. He's Mario. He's our son. He was born uh, almost three years ago. And I had a pretty tough pregnancy because I had to stay still in a bed for a few months. And on top of this, uh, we were coming from a serial abortion experience. So let's say that our level of stress was very high. But uh, at the end, it seemed that uh, everything went okay because uh, uh, Mario got the right weight at birth. He got uh, the right Hapgar index, so we were pretty reassured by the fact that he was okay. So we, we really were, were happy. But uh, after 10 days, what happened is that uh, we realized that Mario had a stroke. He... Well, it's working? Okay. Technology I will tell you the story. <laughs> A stroke, as you might know, is uh, a brain injury, is uh, something that happens to the brain, that is, uh, th the blood is supposed to go through and to uh, the brain, but uh, in Mario's case, uh, for a few minutes, this didn't happen. So this caused the death okay. of the neurons of the right side of Mario's brain, uh, which is the effect uh, as you might know, the neurons are the only cells in our body that can be replaced. And the effect are that uh, Mario is not able to control the left side of his body. Uh, so just think if I want to ask to you, I'm asking to you, please move your third hand. Uh, so you can't even understand uh, the, the question. That's the same for Mario, so he's not able to really control the left side of his body, meaning uh, his arm and, and, and in his leg. So, uh, as you can imagine, uh, we, we were really shocked. Our life had to change. We, no, no one has prepared us to this kind of news, so uh, we we, we had to change and uh, to review all of our uh, life. Uh, and at the end, uh, we start, ma many questions start to come to our mind uh, because uh, we said, what, why this happened to us? Uh, why, why Mario need to, to try this, to experience this? Uh, so uh, the, the second level of, uh, of question that came up to our mind uh, were more concerns about his future. So Mario, will, will he ever be able to uh, uh, be autonomous and doing the very simple things like uh, tie his shoes or uh, playing with a ball or ride a bicycle? So all these kind of very simple things that uh, requires the, uh, the the usage of both hands. And uh, the, the very big question at the end uh, was that uh, we, we felt uh, uh, this big sense of failure. So our main question was, uh, wh what did we do wrong? Uh, uh, why the only real creation of our life is a failure? It should be better than us. Why is a failure? And uh, the, the real question, uh, uh, at the end, uh, got an answer. The answer was, uh, now Mario is broken, so we really need to fix him. So these were our thoughts. Uh, this was our mood during this period. No. Let me double check if it is working. Okay. So as you may imagine, and Francesca said, unfortunately, we were not ready but we immediately started the, the rehabilitation. At the beginning, we spent months doing the traditional rehabilitation, but it was not enough. We were not happy. Mario was not reacting to this. So we found a pilot, a pilot based on what is called the, the mirror neurons. The, theor the theory of mirror neurons, just to make it simple, it simply means that when you watch me doing this action, Exactly at the same time, in your brain, you are activating the same neurons as if you do the action. It looks like this is the leading edge in terms of rehabilitation, but what happened is something different. Basically, one day, 
exactly where we were doing this exercise with Mario, we realized that Mario was not looking at the exercise itself. He was looking at us in our eyes. And as you might felt, and Francesca said, we were in panic mode. We were depressed. We were down. So we were not exactly a good mirror able to help him. And that drove the change. That day we realized that we had to change, and this is coming the dangerous idea we had. We said we had to become a better mirror for Mario. That day really changed everything. We decided to take a journey, but a different journey, not just a journey where we were trying to fix him, and we stopped to see him as a problem, and we restarted finally to see him as a son. A journey where, you know, it's not important only the destination, but the journey itself. And in order to do this, we said, we have to restart from our strengths, we have to restart from our passions. Traveling, for example, is one of our passions, and we started to travel with Mario, to bring Mario with us. During this journey, honestly, we, we found something strange. I mean, at the end, for the first year of Mario's life, we were not sharing his story. <laughs> you might believe this is crazy, but we found that this is common. The moment that you need more help from the others, it's crazy, but you don't ask for help. Even our parents were not aware that Mario had a stroke until he has one year. And so we started during this journey to share our story. We started to be vocal, you know, because in this way, it, it was going to become normal. And during this exercise where we were sharing, we got a lot of feedback back. We were talking with a lot of parents. And as you may imagine, the, Microsoft, the microphone of my wife is still connected. So you might imagine how it's going to be. Anyway, that's just the last slide, but I think it's the most important because Doing this mirroring exercise with Mario, we're trying to give him something, and we are receiving a lot back. Because Mario is teaching us what we believe is the most important lesson for us. Mario is teaching us to stop to look at him as a problem and start to consider what you have as a gift. At the end, OK, he is going to have a problem on his left side, but thanks God that the right side is working. Thanks God he's smiling. Thanks God is an epic child. OK? And we started to focus on his strengths, instead than on his weakness. It looks basic, but believe us, it was not so easy to do. And this is the reason why we are traveling, we are continuing the mirroring exercise with him, and this is why, I think now you expect it, Franchi, and this is why we are asking you for a few seconds to be the mirror of the world to him, because because we really do believe that the day that you start to realize that all of us are different, all of us are diverse, all of us are different religions, all of us are different heights, different colors, whatever it is, we do believe that when you realize this, soon you realize that all of us are normal human beings, and that's what we hope for him as soon as he grows again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you Sorry again. for the technological issue. Mario, guarda lì, guarda questo specchio, questo mirror. Eh? Everyone is different, Andiamo, but everyone mommy. is exactly like you. Andiamo. Yes. Dai. Thank you very much. Thank you. Andiamo? Dai. Andiamo. Oh. <laughs> Thank you.